Hey nerd family, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at the free games for PlayStation Plus for August of 2022. Now it's only been a short time here since PlayStation Now merged into PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Plus has gotten a bit beefier of uh, offering similar to Xbox Game Pass. Not quite as good in some people's eyes, but it definitely has a lot going for it and they continue to make some improvements over time. So we'll see here over time if it continues to get better. But today we're going to take a look at the free games here. And before we get into that, I'm going to go ahead and roll the intro and I'll see you back here in a second. All right, guys, welcome back. I hope everyone out there is staying safe and staying healthy. If you haven't already checked out thenerdcircle.com, make sure you head over there and check it out. You can also follow along on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Real Nerd Circle. And if you want to see some gameplay, head over to Nerd Circle Gaming on Facebook. We have a new Facebook page set up over there where we're playing some games. It's still a work in progress, and we definitely need your feedback to help it improve. But definitely come check it out. Also, make sure to head down to the description of this video where you'll see links to a new links page. There's lots of different links there for you, one of which you can get two free months of Stadia Pro. So if you've yet to try Stadia Pro, go ahead and follow my link, you'll get two free months. And it definitely helps out the channel here to help keep making these videos for you, so we greatly appreciate it. If you do like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It definitely helps us out as it lets YouTube know who likes the videos and who to recommend them to next. We definitely want to thank all of our subscribers. If you are a new subscriber from the last video, you will see your name scrolling across the bottom. Again, we want to thank our new subscribers as you're helping us continue to grow. You will see your name scrolling across the side for all of our subscribers. And we want to thank all of our subscribers as you're helping us get to where we want to be. Our next milestone is 500 subscribers and we're on our way there, so thanks again. If you have not yet subscribed and you'd like to do so, make sure to go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of the new videos. Alright guys, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at what free games we have for this month. Alright, so we are over here on the PlayStation Plus website and we have our latest monthly games. Now guys, I don't know if I'm the only one that's thinking this. I know that PlayStation Plus works a little bit different than some of the other options that are out there, but I don't know why they drop these monthly free games when they have a library or a collection of old games and new games as well that are just free to play, as well as the cloud games. That I mean, they have a lot of games on the service. I don't really understand the point of these monthly game drops, especially it's not like you keep the game after you unsubscribe. You have to stay subscribed to be able to play them. So is there something that I'm missing here as to why they give the free monthly game drops as well as just have free games on the service all the time? I just don't understand what the point is. Let me know down below if there's something I'm missing. Not that I don't enjoy free games, but I just don't understand why they put out several free games when they already have a bunch of free games. I'm just, I don't get it. Anyways, let's take a look. So the free games that we have for this month are Yakuza Like a Dragon. Now I've never played any of the Yakuza games, but I did read some good reviews about it. It definitely seems like it's a good franchise. So now that we're gonna have uh, one of them for free here, I'm definitely gonna have to try it out. We also get Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Now these are remastered of the actual original Tony Hawk 1 and 2 games. I have not yet tried the remastered versions. Of course I've played Tony Hawk 1 and 2 back in the day. And if I were to try to play them non-remastered now, I just don't know how well it's going to go. So hopefully the remastered does them justice. I did read some quick reviews and people were saying that they seem to play pretty well. So hopefully they do play pretty well and look a lot better than what the originals may look like now. So I am intrigued to try them out. So it's cool that we get them free over here. And the last game we have this month is Little Nightmares. I've never played Little Nightmares yet, but I've looked into it a few times across different platforms, and it is something I'm intrigued to play. I do like the horror style games, so I think at some point I'm gonna have to sit down and play it. If you guys wanna see me play any of these games over on Nerd Circle Gaming, let me know in the comments down below, and we'll definitely make some plans to play. So let's go ahead and claim these games. So Yakuza, like a dragon, Looks like it's normally a $59.99 game, so we are getting a pretty good value here. Now just to quickly point out, there are different versions. This is the version here that they are including for free. But you can also get a discount on the Hero Edition. You can get the Hero Edition for $24.49. Or you can get the Legendary Hero Edition. It doesn't look like you get a discount on it. It comes in at $89.99. 
we're going to go ahead and add this to our library. But that is one of the other great things with PlayStation Plus. It's not the only one, but you do get a lot of good discounts on games as well. So if we really wanted this Hero Edition for $24.49, that's actually a pretty good price. Now I'm going to do a quick scroll down here, and you guys can kind of pause it if, you, if there's anything you need to see here. But this just gives us some description and things into the game here. It definitely looks like it's got a lot going for it, so I definitely will have to check it out. Let's go ahead and go back and claim our next game. And again, the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 here is normally a $49.99 game, so again, a good value. As we scroll down here, you can see a little bit about the game. I'm sure most of you know Tony Hawk, but it at least gives you some information here. And you can see that there is Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 for $39.99 and Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 Cross Gen Deluxe Bundle for $49.99, which is the one they include. So it's actually the better version. We're going to go ahead and add it to our library. And we're going to head back and claim the last game. And you can see here Little Nightmares is normally $19.99. Either way, still a good value of getting it for free. And we're going to scroll down just a little bit here. And there are different versions here. So you can do the demo for free, of course. You have Little Nightmares Complete Edition for $29.99. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a sale on that. And then you have the Little Nightmares for $19.99 that's included. It's too bad they're not putting a sale on the complete edition, but we're going to go ahead and add this one to our library. And there we have it. Now, as I mentioned, they have a pretty big catalog of free games. So as you're over here on PlayStation Plus, you can kind of scroll through and see the different things that they have. You can, of course, click all games A to Z, uh, what's on PlayStation Plus. There's different things to look at. They also are doing this Ubisoft Plus Classics. I don't know too much about that just yet, but um, I do know that Ubisoft Plus is starting to come over to PlayStation. They haven't really done too much with Xbox just yet. Hopefully, before you know it, Ubisoft Plus will just be fully integrated into all systems, but it hasn't happened just yet. But there are some things with Ubisoft Plus that are starting to work over on PlayStation, and that could be the start of the Ubisoft Plus Classics here. So anyways, you do have that. And as you scroll down, you do have new games to the catalog. Now you do have to be a premium or an extra subscriber, but you do get a lot of free games. One of which being this Stray game that has recently uh, surfaced here. And then also joining the game catalog, you got these games here. You can see all games. And then of course, if you're premium, then you have new other, other new games as well. And here's, here's some trials. So not all games are full games. There are some trials, but you got some trials there. And then they have their classic catalog of, you know, like uh, PSP and PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3 games. So there is just a lot of games over here and they're just adding more and more over time. It's not just the monthly games. So if you have not yet signed up for PlayStation Plus of either tier, it's definitely something to check out. Obviously, it's going to be better if you have a PlayStation console, but you don't have to have a PlayStation console. You can, of course, just play the cloud games over on PC with the PlayStation Plus uh, application that you can download. But if you head over, you can check out the different membership plans and see what's going to work best for you. Before we end this, let's just take a look at that PlayStation Plus application on the computer and see what games come up over there. If you guys do want to see future videos where we kind of cover more of the all games A to Z, let me know in the comments down below and we can definitely put something together showing more of the games. All right, now I do want to point out here real quick that when you're in the PlayStation Plus application, for those who have not used it, you do have an option where you can you know, move around with the mouse here, but you also have an option up here where you can actually use the controller, which is great because some of these uh, applications that you get you can't use the controller until you get into the game. You can't like scroll the, the game catalog with the controller, which is kind of odd, but I do like that they have the option here. So you can click to use controller. 
and it may take a second for it to uh, reload here but it'll reload and then you can use your controller now it tells you on the website as far as what controllers work it does say a uh, DualShock 4 controller but I just want you guys to know I'm using an Xbox controller now how it's gonna play the games well I guess we'll find out but it at least scrolls the catalog so that is good to know so we are now in the controller mode and we can just kind of take a look here here's some must play games definitely see some good titles here I will be playing a lot of these games over time if you guys do want to see me play some of these games of course let me know and we can play them over on the nerd circle gaming on Facebook now the action category I'm pretty sure is pretty extensive so I'm gonna kind of scroll quickly and we may not even see all the games there but there are a lot of games here now remember these are all just games you play on the cloud so what used to just be called uh, PlayStation now uh, for PC it's the PlayStation Plus and it's the cloud games over here on PC now you can add these games to a list so if you if you click a game you can click and add it to your list so I've just kind of went through and just added a few games to the list here so you have your list as you play games they will show up in a play history category here but there is just an endless amount of categories so here we have sports games adventure games shooter games now some of these lists are shorter than others depending on uh, you know how many games of course there there are in that category but there are some that are pretty extensive if you did see the stadia pro free games for august of 2022 here you will notice monster jam steel titans 2 so you can get that game for free or play it on the cloud either way you can download it to your system or play it in the cloud whatever you prefer but it is on both platforms And we have some other driving and racing games as well. And we got RPGs. And we got puzzles. And we got kids and family. We got fight, whoop, we got fighting. Simulation. strategy we got editor's choice we got some ps3 games remasters And I don't know about you guys, but I'm seeing a lot of good games in here. We got PSP, PlayStation, and PS2. Ah, I remember Fantavision. Some of you may think it's a boring game, but I always enjoyed it. I always loved the Dark Cloud. Hot Shots, Golf, those are always fun. And we're not going to continue to go through all of these here, but you then also have A through B, C through D, E through G, H through L, M through O, P through R, S, T, U through Z. So you definitely have a lot of options over here. So I definitely think it's a great option. And like I said, these are all for PC. So even if you don't have a PlayStation console, you still get to play all these games. So I just wanted to give you guys that quick little bonus in this video here. If you guys do want to see more about this in a future video, of course, let me know down below. But that's all we got here for you this month for PlayStation Plus. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it. Hopefully it lets you know if PlayStation Plus is something you want to try to subscribe to and or what membership tier you want to pick. If there's anything you noticed that I forgot, please make sure to leave it in the comments down below. If you guys do want to see me play any of these games over on Nerd Circle Gaming, please let me know. And if you want to see how the Xbox controller works with the PlayStation games over here, let me know in the comments down below. And if you could, please share this video across any social media platform that you like. And you can head over to Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at Real Nerd Circle and follow for more. 
And of course, make sure to check out Nerd Circle Gaming on Facebook. Head down to the description for the links page where you can also help support the channel over at buymeacoffee.com forward slash the nerd circle. And you can also follow the link to get two free months of Stadia Pro. When you use that link, it does help us out to help keep making these videos for you. So we greatly appreciate you using that link. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up as it definitely helps us out as it lets YouTube know who likes the videos and who to recommend them to next. And if you guys have not yet subscribed and you'd like to do so, please make sure to go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell so you get notified of any new videos to come out. You can also follow the links on the screen to the older videos. And until next time, stay nerdy.